I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the lifestyle blog Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm going to show you how to roast a bell pepper. So really easy to do, really delicious. Let's get started. All you'll need is your bell pepper, which has already been cleaned and de-seeded. As you can see, I've done that here. You will need a bowl of cold ice water, some tongs, and then you will need um, a baking dish with tin foil inside of it. So, easy enough. All we're going to do is flatten our bell peppers first. So cut side down. We're just kind of flattening with our hand just a little bit. So just flatten. It'll, it'll smush out a little bit. That's okay. Flatten. Dun, 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 dun. Just do, do, do. Perfect. Okay. Place these inside the pan. Okay. And now I have my broiler on high. So I'm going to pop them in the broiler. And I'm going to keep an eye on them. And once they get all charred and black, yes, indeed, that's what you're looking for, for them to get charred and black, because then we're going to peel them. That's what we have all this handy dandy stuff over here for. You're going to pull them out. So let's pop them in and we'll keep an eye on them. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes um, for my bell peppers to get all charred and black like this and see how it like blistered up the skin. That's what you want because we're gonna peel that. And if it doesn't blister like that and separate, we're not really gonna be able to peel it. So they're still hot, I just took them out. So now what we're gonna do is blanch them. And blanching is submerging them in this nice little ice cold water here um, for about 30 seconds. So it's really hot, so take your tongs or something else, but I recommend tong, and just plop them in there. This is gonna let it stop cooking and get nice and cool. So just make sure it's all the way in. It doesn't need to be underneath the ice cubes, it just needs to be totally submerged. And we're just gonna give it 30 seconds and then pull them out and pat them dry. Okay, so it's been 30 seconds. Let's just pull them out. Try not to take an ice cube with you, if at all possible. And I'm just gonna pop it right on the cutting board. It's okay if they separate like this. Um, I would imagine that for whatever recipe you're using, you're gonna be chopping them or you know, slicing them or whatever. So it's okay if they separate, do not fret. So I'm just gonna pat these dry. I just have a paper towel here. So just press it down to pat it dry. Okay, great. So now we are just going to, using our fingers, you just start to just, see how beautifully that comes off? Just peel, peel, peel. Gorgeous. Nice and easy. And that's what you need. You definitely need this to be blackened and charred and you need like these little bubbles here. See how it starts to like wrinkle and, and shrink up? That it just makes it so easy to peel. So definitely don't take a peeler to it. You use your fingers, otherwise you would end up losing all of your lovely roasted bell pepper that you worked so hard for. You actually didn't have to work so hard, which is what's so nice about this. They're pretty easy to roast and has such a lovely, yummy, yummy taste. Just keep on peeling. And you'll just keep going until the entire pepper is peeled. So there we go, it's all beautifully peeled and it's ready to be sliced, diced, chopped, or just eaten whole like this in this yummy, beautiful roasted way. There you have it, roasted bell peppers. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna learn how to make, send me an email at requests at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.